Okay, we're gonna call you Doodle. Because you have a Labradoodle. Yeah. We're gonna make a video of your hand. Okay. This isn't this this is a uh, a common problem, these little ganglion cysts. They're annoying. They're annoying. And you came to me the first time with this and it had already ruptured. Yeah. And there's really not a whole lot to look at, was there? Right. And I said, well, if it comes back, you can come in and I can aspirate it. But there's a good chance if it returns, that means you're probably going to need to see a hand surgeon and have it properly removed. Because these cysts, they go all the way into the joint. Mm -hmm. Now, does it hurt, doodlebug? Not really. <laughs> Did I say doodlebug first? Yeah. No, just doodlebug. Actually, I'm going to need the, the uh, syringe with that needle. I apologize. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't really hurt, but it's just... It's there. Yeah, yeah. it's just there. And... It's just there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to aspirate this for you again because you've asked us to. But i got to tell you, the odds are really strong that this is going to return. Okay. Okay. So I should expect it. You should expect it. It, it. It'll probably. It may be a month or so, but we're going to go ahead and just get your referral to introduce yourself to a hand surgeon to shake hands with a hand surgeon. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Hopefully, the operating hand, right? Shake hands. Yeah. So twenty-three. My left hand, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, when when it's time, you'll be able to have it removed, okay? Yeah. So Gumpy Jean is going to spray some ethyl chloride. This is a really cold spray. Oh, okay. You, come, you find a position that works for you, and I'll work around you. And she's going to spray that on there and get it good and cold. Brr, is Ooh, it cold? I guess. All right. And then I'm going to put a little needle in and try to get some fluid out. Okay. Sometimes the fluid comes right out. Sometimes the fluid doesn't come right out. And this time, I think it is coming out a little bit. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I'm moving the needle around on purpose. Oh, did that hurt? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Not bad. Okay, let me give that to you. Let's give it a little squeeze and see if, yeah. So. It's really thick, and you can look right here and you can see. See how thick that is? I know. That's why it didn't want to come out through that tiny, we just used a 23 gauge needle, but I can squeeze most of it out because we made, okay. you know, uh, a little opening here, right? So we'll just squeeze out the fluid, and this is basically a lot like um, plain jello. <laughs> Yeah. It's very clear. It's very clear. Remember I told you it popped out on the yeah. in my car. Yeah. So this is uh this is the same fluid as synovial fluid. It's just very thick because it's uh, had a chance for the body to absorb some of the fluid. Okay, well now you have a dimple, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. And so we'll put a bandage around that and that'll okay. soften out and kind of even up a little bit. Okay. But like I said, the odds are pretty good that this will go ahead and return. So go ahead and see the, the hand surgeon so they can plan on taking you to the operating room and fixing this. Because it's no fun, right? Well, it's annoying. Yeah. Do you do any kind of special work with your hands? Do you do knitting or glass cutting or no. things like that? You don't do any kind of special... I read a lot. I do mm -hmm. a lot of uh, puzzles, mm -hmm. like in the evening. Yeah. But you're not doing some kind of work where you'd be putting extra pressure on your fingertips and things like that. I don't think so, huh? Okay. So this is just something that, that you've got. Do you so, cook a lot? Pardon me? Do you cook a lot? Yeah. Maybe you need to stop cooking. I'm just <laughs> oh. <laughs> tell my husband that. Yeah. So it's going to bruise a little bit, all right? You see that? You can yeah. already tell it'll bruise a little yeah. bit, but that's not dangerous. See, it's already got a little bit of Ooh, yeah. in there. So Gumby Jean will kind of put a tight dressing on there that keep that to keep it from swelling up. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. thanks for letting us video. I guess I should ask you. I'm liking that. You need a beta Let's get a little betadine on there. So uh, this is the right wrist. You've got a bump there. So uh, we're going to call it a cyst. You're here to see cyst buster. I'm, yes. I'm cyst buster. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. What your your yeah. YouTube channel? Uh, it's is. just my name. It's just my name. But we might change it to something, you know, fun. Right. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, I bet you do a variety of things. That's the thing. Here. We, do, we do a ton of stuff. Yeah, yeah. We do a lot of things. I'm probably leaning in front of the camera. So this is just a little betadine to kind of clean the area up there. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're good. And then alcohol. I like to take the betadine kind of off. All right, and uh, you learned about sin bumps, right? I did, although I, we don't call them because I'm an angel. 
You're, well, I right. have no sin. Well, go. Exactly. I go to confession on a regular basis. Well, so all right. I come out with a shiny soul. Well, and go. I think with your history of the Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> um, I, I was acquitted you were on a technicality. There you go. Still. So she just confessed to. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> forgiven because she, she goes. Well, I go to confession on a regular basis. All right, Jailbird, whatever <laughs> okay. you say. Oh, we're going to spray a little cold spray, and then I'm going to okay. numb this up for you a little bit. This is the smallest needle in the house. Are you okay. ready? Okay. I am. There we go. A little. What you gonna feel? Stick sting and a burn. Stick sting and a burn. Stick sting and a burn. Yeah, so this is a little 1% lidocaine buffered, buffered with Epi going in. There we go. Ooh. The needle, the needle, the needle, the, the weasel needle, weasel, the needle froze. You're thinking of animals. I know. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, baby Jane. <laughs> Oh, it looks so you, even bigger, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm like, you put stuff in there and it uh, got bigger. Okay, so we'll just kind of work that lidocaine with epi in there a little bit for you give it just a moment and we talked about ganglion cysts in general but these erupt from the synovial lining of the bones of the wrist right and they can show up at any point but they're called sin bumps because in the good old days folks used to get the get the big family bible and whack them uh and they'll go away so a lot of times though they do return um, and in your case, I estimate you probably have about a 50-50 chance that this is going to return despite us aspirating it. If it does, we'll aspirate it once more. If it returns after that, then you get to go visit our friendly hand surgeon and have it surgically removed. Okay, okay. But hopefully that won't happen. No. All right. Are you ready, Jailbird? I am. All right. You sure you like to watch this? Well, I don't know, but I'll see. You haven't ever done it before? No, but I have three children. Oh, yeah. Have you stuck needles in them? No, but childbirth is a thing. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you delivered babies? Yes, lots of babies. Oh. This is very jelly-like. See, it's coming out of there. It looks like, yeah. a, like a little worm. Yeah. So we're just going to hold negative pressure on that and see how much comes out. It doesn't okay, take okay. much. Pressure? It doesn't take much jelly coming out for that to um, to go down, so to speak. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Move it a little bit. Well, I know we're in the right place. It's the right wrist and the right place. Yes, that may be all we get. We'll give it a little more. I think it's slowly kind of coming out there. A little bit more. Come on. So there's more than it looks like because that 18 gauge needle is large enough to hold a, a bit of quantity as well. So. Okay, okay. So a little bit of blood there now. So we're probably at the end. So there you go. Okay. Gummy Jean, you can take that. How was that? It was fine, just a little pressure. Just a little I felt. pressure? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So there you go. Gummy Jean, we just need a dressing. She's going to put a little dressing on there for you. Okay. And you like putting a little compression dressing on this. It seems to kind of help prevent uh, this from coming back right away. Okay. But like I said, your your risk is still pretty high that this is going to come back. So okay. don't be surprised if it does. Okay, okay. Uh, but, but we hope for you that it doesn't. Yeah. Now, I think that was probably there longer than a month. You thought that, okay. it, that it showed yeah. up about a month because that was pretty thick. Okay. Right? When it's thicker like that, generally okay. it means yeah. that the ganglion cyst has been there a little longer. Okay. But sometimes they're small and you don't really notice yeah. them. I think that yeah. is it, and then it just... And then it just sort of poops up a little bit. Yes, and that's when I saw it. All right, Jailbird, so yes, thank you so much. You're and uh, we'll let you know where you can see the video. Perfect, thank you. I don't have to record you, but I, I really like you because you're so photogenic and no. you're very happy, and people want to know more about coconut anyway, so tell me what you were going to tell me. Go ahead. Coconut loves Meta 7, okay? Why? Because look, I could not get comfortable for anything last night. I went to sleep at one o'clock this morning, woke myself up around five, and I have been knocking patients out all day nonstop, and I still have a whole mess of energy. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore, for making Meta 7. Okay, so you took Meta 7 this morning. Yeah, I and take it every just, morning. You take it every morning. And so even though you had a hard time sleeping last night, you took medicine this morning and now you are a medical assistant machine. I am a machine. I'm a tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks for the free testimony. Thanks. Hi, my name's Liam, and I just want to do a review for uh, Coco Skin Plus. I've been on it for about two and a half months now. Um, I do recommend it. It has given me, I don't know if you want to zoom in, my nails have definitely gotten stronger, um, and my hair. I did bleach my hair 
uh, last year. Um, don't ever bleach your hair. It will kill your hair. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. And um, it's a 90 day supply. Uh, it took about, I wasn't seeing anything really until a month, a month and a half in to really notice uh, changes. But it's been doing great. I love it.